Now on WSAR's Breakfast Club, it's the Bristol Community College Update. A monthly visit with President Laura Douglas on 1480 WSAR and 95.9 FM. Sponsored by Bristol Community College. Dreams within reach. Visit bristolcc.edu. Good morning, 8.45 in your Monday, 5th of July. Pleased to have along with us President Laura Douglas and to kick around the recent uh, congressional tour. Bristol's a recent congressional tour. In fact, it's uh, this past Thursday, right there on the future site of Bristol's National Offshore Wind Institute, located right there on the waterfront in New Bedford. Laura, good morning. How are you? Good morning, Hack. I'm well. How are you doing today? Very well. But wasn't that a special event uh, this past Thursday? And of course, you uh, you got nice coverage on the Herald News front page with uh, Joanne Bentley right there. <laughs> that was... Right there, our own Joanne Bentley, right at Bristol Community College and right. WSAR. That was kind of fun. Yeah, that was kind of, I said, I, I, I sent her a little uh, uh, text message and said, you're looking pretty good there again. And, and she had, she was kind of a holding court in a sense, wasn't she? <laughs> she was, was uh, giving the tour. Yeah. Yes, we were very fortunate to have our congressional uh, delegation uh, with us last Thursday. Senator Ed Markey, Congressman Bill Keating, and Jake Auchincloss. Uh, came down for a tour of our new facility and also to uh, talk about all the jobs uh, that would be coming through this uh, venture of offshore wind as well as some of the benefits to our environment from um, moving away from fossil fuels and moving into renewable energy. So it was really a great day for all, and uh, people were just overwhelmed to see a 30,000 foot uh, square foot facility. Uh, I don't think anybody had the uh, in their minds that something would be so large, but this is a huge undertaking, uh, not just for Bristol Community College, but for this region as we prepare to uh, support uh, and uh, uh, really enhance this this industry which is coming to Massachusetts. Yeah, and pretty exciting is preparing those students for offshore and wind for that uh, very important industry. Yes, exactly. And our Offshore Wind Institute, you know, we are calling it the National Offshore Wind Institute because it will have a national presence, Heck, It will not only train people who are going to be uh, uh, working in the offshore wind industry, but it will also uh, train people who are onshore wind uh, because these training facilities are far and few between in the United States. Uh, they uh, require uh, a lot of uh, planning and specialized accredited training. Um, it's called uh, Global Wind Organization. Uh, that's the international standard, and we will be providing uh, training uh, at our facility in two paths. Uh, the first path is um, in safety, and the other path is technical training. Um, and so the basic training is first aid, manual hand handling, fire weight awareness, working at heights, um, the survival, those kinds of things. And then the basic technical training uh, is uh, basic hydraulics, mechanicals, electrical, installation requirements, those types of things. And then, then we'll do other training as well uh, that uh, uh, for the for the industry. So, um, you know, we've got a lot of, um, there's just so many different roles, uh, like being a slinger signaler. Uh, do you know what that is, Hack? I have no idea. I'm, I think I might, but you can tell me what it is. I'm not... I'm, I'm thinking. So, Go ahead. Yeah. So we we borrow many terms from the um, the rest of the world, and a rigger or a slinger um, is what they are called. You know, people who work on the vessels and often operate the cranes and you know manage the overall operations. And so you know, we even train people who are slinger signalers, who will be you know giving the signals for the cranes and make, making sure that everything is safely moving as they they put uh, wind turbines into the into the ocean and those types of things. Yeah. So, I mean, all these jobs you would never imagine. Uh, we will be training for. So, uh, Laura, who would be the the ideal student for you know for, for being part of all of this exciting adventure? 
Well, first of all, you have to be in good physical health. Uh, there, there is a requirement right from the bat to be able to pass uh, a physical uh, because uh, you will be out on the water. You will be in a wind turbine. Uh, usually there are two people on a wind turbine at a time. So, of course, there's a safety opportunity there. But we want to make sure that people have uh, meet the right physical requirements to do the to do the job. Um, but beyond that, it's someone who has a very good uh, sense of safety and wants to follow uh, very lockstep directions in terms of safety protocols. Uh, safety is number one uh, on a wind turbine. And then beyond that, it's someone who has really good uh, technical abilities. Um, so, for example, um, you know, students coming out of some of our vocational technical high schools would be great candidates for these jobs. Many of our veterans who have trained uh, uh, in the uh, military also are coming away with great basic skills that we would enhanced through our training. Um, and um, and some of our union workers, people who have already been in the fields of, um, you know, pipe fitting and um, uh, those types of, of positions, all could be very easily retooled into into these types of, uh, in types of the, into these types of roles. Yeah, wide, so we'll be, wide ranging yeah, when you we'll think about pretty, it. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. That's pretty exciting stuff. So when when does that begin? Is it next year, the year after? When when do you uh, get rolling with all of this? We are planning uh, to open our facility next year. Of course, we are working on the plans now to make sure that it is fully outfitted. Uh, one of the things that will be very important at our National Offshore Wind Institute um, is a large deep water training pool. Uh, we'll need to put that in for sea survival and crew transfer. Um, we'll also have, um, you know, places for them to provide training and scaling a, a turbine and um, conduct rescues and um, blade repair, and we'll also have some traditional classrooms as well. So, uh, you know, part of the learning is hands-on, and part of it is is classroom instruction. Now, this is a this is a big deal. Good for you. That's great. Yeah, I don't know how well, many how many great. people. Yeah. I don't know how many people would have the opportunity. I mean, because only the location is great, obviously, right? Right. So really the, the nearest uh, training facility to us right now is in Florida. So um, this will hopefully help us with most of the Northeast and part of the nation. Um, but we expect because it's here in uh, Massachusetts, which is a desirable place for people to come where they can stay in hotels and, you know, eat our great food and all those other things that people will come uh, and be shipped in from all over the world. Uh, typically trainings are a week or two weeks weeks uh, in, 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 in time, uh, and then uh, they will have to come back for recertification. So it'll be great to have so many people coming to Massachusetts to train, and as well as our own people, of course. That's great stuff. All right, now, uh, Laura, is there some of this info on the website available for folks to go ahead and peruse? You know, that would be great if they wanted to go to www.nowi, N-O-W-I, dot org they can learn more about our national offshore wind institute and we'll be training about four thousand to six thousand individuals for jobs in offshore wind wow. so lots of opportunity heck that is absolutely wonderful lara great talking with you hope you're having a great summer i know the weather's been kind of lousy but hopefully but there are so many plus things going on so that kind of makes up i guess for the bad weather right <laughs> It sure does. Well, you make sure to enjoy some time off as well, Hack. Enjoy yeah. what we have in Massachusetts. Thank you. You as well, Doug. Thank you. Appreciate it. We'll see you next month.